All right, so I was walking this morning, man. Ran up on it's an on TV. It's Roku on it. I saw it had a busted screen. I didn't want it, but it still said Roku. I was like, um, Roku is a streaming TV. It's gotta, it's gotta have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or both on the inside. So I stripped it out and found the Wi-Fi modules right here, and I pulled it. Took it to my crib. I'm gonna show you what I did. Alright, so this is the Wi-Fi module I was just saying that I disconnected from the back of the busted TV. This is the Wi-Fi antenna wire right here. As you can see, Wi-Fi 0, Wi-Fi 1, the BT is Bluetooth. Check it out later on. So, yep, I had to get a USB-A data cable. This one has four wires on the inside. This one is USB type A2, but all of them ain't the same. See how thin this one is compared to this one. Probably can't see the difference right here, but this one is quite thin right here, and it only has two. This is only for charging. The black and the red is coming out. This one has four, and I cut the wire, and here you have, after you shave the wires down, I cut the other half off. Part they used to go in the charger port on the phone or any device. This wire right here, the shielding. All you need to focus on is the colored wires. So then I realized, man, it's a Wi-Fi module, and the TV is a computer. Can I connect it to my computer? Module right here. These wires that came out. There we go. There's the red one, white one, green, and the black. We twist the corresponding color with these duct tape or black tape. I got it back. Um, we went down all the way. No Wi-Fi on the computer. Plug, plug it in. It's automatically recognized. There we go. Have a nice day.